Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to cover security aspects related to S3. So we have just seen that we have uploaded a bug, uh, we have uploaded a file in the bucket and then we were able to access it. Though we were not able to access it through public URL, but yeah, anyways, we are going to see how can we access it using public URL also. But of course, uh, because it's a uh, object storage and uh, uh, there will be a you know a, a way so that uh, through application or uh, through some way we can access those objects or files so how can we uh, secure that this environment or this service okay so AWS provides a range of features and services for this and best practices are also there so I am going to cover what is bucket policy uh, I am policies we have already seen bucket policies are nothing but will grant permissions necessary for a user or a service uh, to perform the task. So with this policy, we can decide what type of user, whether it's IAM user or end user or any AWS service, uh, if uh, what type of access they will have, if they can access the bucket or the objects or not. Use policies to limit access to specific IP addresses, VPCs or IAM roles. So that is also possible. Ensure that sensitive data is encrypted both in transit and at rest. So and we have already seen this uh, block public access. So it says be cautious with policies that allow public access. Uh, so uh, I mean, if it is not applicable, if you are very, very sure your your uh, uh, bucket will never be exposed for public access, then uh, never enable that by default, it is disabled. We have seen it in previous video, but so never enable that. And that option is also there if you are very sure that uh, in your and as an enterprise that will never be a case that uh, any bucket will provide access directly to public so that can be done on account level also IAM policies will create IAM roles with a specific permission for different applications or users uh, and uh, through IAM roles also that is uh, doable we have uh, earlier I have described that uh, uh, there can be roles IAM roles can be created and uh, different AWS services can assume the role so that uh, they can access other services, right? So here also that is applicable. Leverage conditions in IAM policies to restrict access based on factors like IP addresses, MFA or time of today. Encryption at rest, we have uh, these options available. Server side encryption by S3, so S3 will manage the encryption key via KMS key management service is another encryption service uh, I will cover that so that option is also available or client can manage the encryption keys by themselves so that is option is also there and in transit we can use the HTTPS protocol uh, anyways we techie people know what is this HTTPS protocol so that uh, over uh, 443 uh, port uh, the, trans the transfer of uh, information is secured and uh, uh, we can also use bucket access control list ACLs. We'll see that uh, to grant read or write permission. And all in all, this is what I want to explain. That anyways, we will have this S3 bucket. Uh, and I like it. Okay, we'll have this S3 bucket, and uh, we have objects inside it. And we want to make sure uh, only limited access. I mean, the least privilege access. Whatever is applicable, only those type of access should be given whether it's users, IAM user, normal user, or uh, instances like EC2 instance, if they are able to access that object or not. So using the previous, uh, using those uh, uh, things, right, which I just explained, so for example, bucket policies, IAM roles, um, etc. we will control access of, uh, of uh, S3 bucket and the objects inside the bucket. So that's it in this video. Let's uh, let's go jump to the hands-on activity.